Swinging Through History. What do grandfather clocks have in common with children on swings? Pendulums. A pendulum is a mass that hangs down from a rope, chain, or other support. When the mass is moved from its resting position and then released, the pendulum swings back and forth. The movement is called oscillation. Each swing takes the same length of time to complete until the pendulum runs out of energy and stops. The longer the pendulum, the fewer swings it makes in a given length of time. Pendulums were first recognized by the Italian physicist and astronomer Galileo Galilei. 1564 to 1642. Galileo saw a chandelier swinging from a ceiling like a pendulum. He had no way to measure how long each swing of the pendulum took. He used the rhythm of his own pulse to time the cycles. He figured out that the time it took for a pendulum to swing back and forth was always the same, no matter how far it was swinging. Galileo thought that a pendulum could be used in timekeeping, but it was Dutch scientist Christian Huggins, 1629 to 1695, who put this idea into action. Huggins was a astronomer. He needed a way to measure time as he observed the sky. Sometime around 1655, Huggins created the first reliable clock that measured seconds accurately. He used a pendulum to regulate the movement of the clock. In 1673, Higgins published a book that explained how the length of a pendulum determined the time it took to swing back and forth. Perhaps the most common use of pendulums today is in grandfather clocks. Most of these clocks are powered by the movement of a pendulum. A grandfather clock keeps time by using a mechanism called an escapement. The escapement regulates the release of the mass's energy. It does this by transferring that energy to gears that move wheels on the face of the clock. As the pendulum swings back and forth, the escapement's gears move, so, so do the clock's hands one second at a time. The only problem with this system is that the pendulum eventually runs out of energy. It moves slower, then finally stops. That is why grandfather clocks need to have their masses reset on a regular basis. More energy must be provided to the pendulum to start the process over again. You can be a pendulum too. Next time you are on a swing, Think about how your body moves through the air. You are swinging the same way a pendulum does. The energy to keep yourself moving comes from someone pushing you. The harder you are pushed, the higher and faster you swing. Ends of anchor engage teeth of escapement. This is the main wheel. The escapement moves with each swing of pendulum and turns second hand. Other wheels, not shown, turn hour and minute hands. The weight pulls the cord, driving main wheel that turns other wheels. Swinging pendulum rocks the anchor.